Are you thinking about selling in 2024? I'm going to tell you what I would do if I were looking to sell in this market. The first thing is connect with a local real estate professional. Do some research. Google the realtors in your area. Check their reviews. Look at how they are marketing the listings that they have. You want to find somebody who is going above and beyond in advertising their listings. You do not want an agent who is using cell phone photos and who is only putting it in the MLS. So make sure that the agent is going to align with what you're looking for in a realtor. Second thing I would do is I would meet with that agent and I would have a sit down with them regarding what your goals are, what your timeline is, and what your strategy is. Find out what that agent can offer you to help you get your home sold for the most amount of money in the least amount of time. Third thing I would do is listen to that agent's advice. You have sought them out. You have read their reviews. You feel like they are an outstanding agent. Listen to what that agent tells you. When they walk through your home and they're making suggestions to you on things you should do to help maximize the amount of money you make, don't take that personal. They're not stating that they hate your house or they think your decor is bad. They're telling you what the buyers in the marketplace today are looking for, and they're offering you some easy solutions to help you make a little bit more money on your sale. And every time I get a new listing, invariably, the seller calls me and their brother's cousin's fiance used to sell real estate 15 years ago. And they don't think that there's any reason in the world we need to X, Y, Z, paint the living room or switch out the hardware and different things that are really not that big of a deal cost-wise or time-wise. You sold real estate 15 years ago. Things have changed so much. So listen to your agent. Don't listen to outside people who are going to try and tell you, oh, that's not that big a deal. It is a big deal if your agent has said it's a big deal. The last thing I'm going to tell you is I would clean my house. I'm not just talking about your regular Saturday cleaning. You want to do a deep clean of your house. You want to make sure that your window sills are clean, your baseboards, your crown molding, doors, all that are spick and span. Make sure your windows are clean. And if you're like me, you've probably got a honey-do list make sure you take care of those items. A lot of times it's not going to be the huge kitchen reno or the bathroom renovation that's going to make a difference to the buyer. It's going to be the fact that you have a well-maintained home and it's well taken care of and clean that's going to make the house stand out to that buyer. If you're thinking about selling in 2024 and you need an agent to help you know what do you need to do, leave a comment or send me a DM.